Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're gonna to be talking about the external storage for the Arlo cameras. So I've got the base station here all set up, ready to go. On the back of it, we have got a, an external hard drive. Got a big one right here. So we got this guy plugged in. And then if you look on the back, I've also got a thumb drive plugged in back there. So I wanna show you guys what the experience is plugging in external hard drives. It's really easy. Once you plug it in, it automatically sets it up for you. There's nothing you really have to do. You could just plug it in and go, but go into the settings. I wanna show you guys where to go and how to access this and configure it, monitor it, anything you need to do. So let's bring up the app here, got the app loaded up. So what we're gonna do is we're going to go to settings. So in the bottom right corner, click on settings, and click on devices, and then I'm gonna select the base station. So I'm gonna click on the top one there. If you notice right here in the center, it says local storage. I'm gonna click on local storage, and we've got the two options on the top. One of them is USB device recording. That enables the USB devices to start recording too. And then we've got automatic override. So if you do not want your data to be wiped, you would turn that off. Um, if you want to see how many days you're roughly getting, you can turn that off, and when it does get full, it will notify you that it is full and that'll kind of give you an idea of how many days you're actually collecting with as many cameras as you have. If you're interested in that, you can go ahead and turn that off. If we look below that, we've got the two devices. If you see, I've got Elements, which is my big hard drive here, and then the one below it is the small four gig USB. Keep in mind, you do have your free seven day cloud storage, and I did find out that not only will it record a backup to the external drive, but it also still records to your cloud storage. You get it in both locations. But if you notice here on the app, I've got the two drives here. I'm gonna go ahead and select the element one and show you guys it says it's in a ready state, gives the drive size and then how much data is available. And here is where you would click the button to safely eject the drive. And then also you can wipe the drive too if you want to do that remotely. So one thing I found out is that you can only record to one drive at a time. You cannot record to both of them. So you can select the drive that you want to from here and get it recorded. So I have all my cameras on. I turn them all on to start recording to this guy right here. So let's go ahead and eject this big guy and take it over to the PC and see what it created on the drive. All right, so I turned all my cameras on. They've been recording to this local hard drive. Let's unplug this drive, take it over to the PC and see what it recorded. All right, over here at the PC, we're gonna open up the folder here. If you take a look, it created an Arlo folder that it's saving all of the stuff to. It kept all of the original stuff that I had on there. So I'm not worried about that getting wiped, but I've got the folder here, all the files are saved. So if you take a look here, scrolling through, everything is saved here, everything's accessible. You can double click on these, watch what's going on, watch what's happening, but everything is locally here now on the storage as well as seven consecutive days of cloud storage. All right guys, so that is just a quick video on the external storage and what it is, what it's about. One thing that I wanted to show you guys, one other tip is that the USBs on the back can be used for more than just the external storage. So I'm gonna unplug the thumb drive that I have here. And what we're gonna do is I've got my Echo Dot. I am going to plug my Echo Dot via USB into the back of the storage here to get it power. So now I don't need to be running this to a plug. I can just piggyback off of the base station here and use that to power my Echo Dot. So this thing will power small devices. It's not gonna do anything major, but it's nice to have the option that you can run other things and power them from the base station too. Anyway, I hope that was helpful for you guys. If so, give it a thumbs up. As always, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.